Hi there, this is uh, John Kirsted uh, from Arctic Spas, Vancouver Island. Um, today we're going to talk to you about jets. Uh, it's a question that comes to us a lot from customers. So I'm going to start with one of the, the uh, common questions I ask clients when they first come into the store, which is, which is better, a 20 jet spa or a 40 jet spa? Well, when you talk to most people, most people will tell you, well, the 40 jet spa is better. But what if I changed the question a little and said, well, you get 40 of these jets or you get 20 of these jets. Now, which is better, a 40 jet spa or a 20 jet spa? It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Because, you know, you look at it, is, is this, this is like having five or six of these ones, right? So let's just look at a couple of differences between jets besides size, all right? Which is better, 20 of these jets or 20 of these jets? You know, this is a, a straight jet that just, you know, you can angle, we call it a directional, omnidirectional jet, so you can point the flow out here, but essentially it's just water flow that's coming out. It's not really doing anything other than just having a flow, sort of like a hose, right? This here is a pulsating jet. This is a twin pulsar in here, so there's two little, streams of jets which causes the jet to spin and it covers kind of a larger radius on your on your body wherever it's hitting because it's a stream that's at an angle and then we even have some where the angle can be changed on the jet and it spins different right so spinning jet versus straight jet when we talk to customers and get them to actually feel the jet with their hands or feel the jet on their body um, Nine times out of ten, a customer is going to tell you that the pulsating jet feels better. So when you're buying your spa, one of the reasons you're buying this is you want to get a good massage. So obviously, if it feels better, those are, more of these is generally going to be better. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because it can be quite confusing when you're out there shopping. If you look at a spa like we have in front of us here, this is a 72 jet spa with two pumps. So you think, wow, that's a lot of jets on a spa. But we have right beside it, we have another spa with two pumps and it's only got 40 jets. Well, which one's better? How do you know which one's better? Well, you gotta start asking the right questions, right? So the questions that you wanna look at is, is it the number of jets that's the most important or is it the quality of the jet and what it does most important? And I would suggest that it's the latter. Better jets are better. You know, and the size of the jet is incredibly important because the size of the jet often determines how much water is coming out of the jet. The more water that comes out of the jet, the more force when that jet hits you and the more impact that you get. So if you want a deep massage, you need a lot of water flow to really penetrate through and deeply down into your muscle structure so you can get a great massage from it. That's why when you look at, we'll be showing you later, our SDS jet, it's a big seven inch jet, you know, that has huge water flow to allow you to get, and it's a pulsating jet on top of that. So you're getting thump, thump, thump. You're getting this really good massage. Sometimes you want the light tapping, like a shiatsu type massage, like this. That would be a smaller spinning jet, right? So. What I want people to think about is when you're out there comparing apples to apples, look at the actual size of the jet, not just the number of jets. Because truly, for the price of this jet, you know, I can buy four or five of these compared to one of these, right? So you think about if I put 10 of these in, but I could buy four or five, let's say four of these for the same price, I could put 40 of these ones in. And you'd be thinking, well, 40 jets is better than 10 jets. Is it? That's the question that you have to ask yourself. Okay, so we've talked a bit about size and there's a couple of little things I like to show people too is sometimes manufacturers are really clever. They've learned that people think that bigger jets are better. So they'll actually take this jet barrel, which is small, it only allows a little bit of water through, but they'll put this face on it. So I'll have this big face on this smaller, but you can see this barrel takes a lot more water than this barrel. So you know, the fact is that a pump only pushes out so much water. The more uh, jets we're trying to supply from one pump, the less water per each jet and the less force to each jet. So you can't get the same massage value from each individual jet. So that's why you'll see on our Arctic Spas theory uh, jets for uh, 
like our custom series and our classic series uh, spas there, they use much larger jets, but on the same pump as you would have on a spa that might have double the number of jets on those. But the amount of water per jet, so the force per jet, is much higher. So you get a better, deeper massage. And really, the only way you can, as a customer, determine what's best for you is uh, by trying it. You know, getting in the spa and actually trying it. And what we're trying to do is get people to realize that if you just look online and you're looking and it says 40 jets, it could be 40 of these jets, it could be 40 of these jets, and that's a distinctly different uh, spa. And I think it's really important for you to know that. Um, so the, the pump strength has some play, but I'll tell you right now, the greatest impact on the force of the jets is uh, in, in here, because there's a little hole in the back here, and a lot of jets, we can change the orifice, we call it, or the opening in the back, and restrict the flow. Because, again, the pump only moves so much water per minute, that means that if we're splitting that up amongst a whole bunch of jets, we want to make sure that this still has good pressure. So one way we can increase pressure is by restricting flow. And what I get people to think about is if you think of a, a hose and you put your finger in front to try, to try and get the stream a higher pressure, the same amount of water is coming out of that hole, but it's coming out of a smaller hole, so it increases the PSI. If you've ever been in a spa and felt, you know, that the jets were kind of drilling into you or felt kind of like a pressure washer on you or you get itchy, it's because the pressure is actually too high out of the jet. The, the manufacturer is compensated from the lack of flow to the jet by increasing the PSI so it still looks like lots is happening, but a lot of people don't like that feeling end up turning the jet off. So you'll see when you actually go into a uh, store shopping, get your hand in front of the jets, feel it. Is it really piercing or is it actually giving you a good flow that you'd like to have your muscles massaged by? And you'll also be able to tell the difference between a straight streaming jet as opposed to a pulsing jet. See what you like the most. You know, I can't encourage you enough to actually try the spas before you buy them. That's probably the best thing you can do as a customer because what if you don't like jets? You know, there's, we, we find probably 30, 40, maybe up to 50% of the people are what we call soakers. They just like the hot water, they like the calm, they don't want a lot of jets. Well, if you're one of those people, don't pay to have a whole bunch of extra jets put in your spa um, if you're not going to use them. Another consideration to make about jets, you know, every single time you add a jet to a spa, you're poking a hole in the shell, right? You're drilling a hole in the shell, which means you have a potential leak location over the long term. Is that a big deal? Well, in an Arctic spa, it's not a big deal because we can repair it, but the fact is, is that mathematically there's a chance that every hole in the spa, every connection in the spa will eventually leak. The more holes you have in the spa, the more connections you have in the spa, the higher percentage chance over time that you might have a leak. Uh, so that's a consideration because a spa that has 20 jets is much less likely to get a leak than a spa that has 40 jets. So 20 good jets might be better than 40 small ineffectual jets. So that's something else to consider. Um, what I'd like to do now is I'd like to show you a couple of the optional jets that you see on spas that do special things. Um, in this particular spa, we use a large jet at the bottom for a foot jet, but this is just an additional jet in the loop, right? So it's not got the full force of a pump. But we are able to use jets um, if you look at the spa that we have next to us here, you'll see in the, in the bottom, there's a volcano jet, right? So this jet can take the full amount of flow from the spa and literally bring it right up. And we'll, we'll show you that, that in action as well. I'm sure uh, our fabulous cameraman will be able to cut in a picture of that where you can see the flow. And what it does is it allows us to put the full force of the pump out one jet. Right? Now in the Arctic series, we have what's called the Orca Jet. And I'll take you over to an eight foot spa so you can see that. So uh, if you look, where is, oh, it's not in this spa. Why is it not in, oh, this is an eagle. It's a seven foot spa. We need an eight foot, here we go. All right. So in the summit, you can see that gigantic big jet here. I'm gonna go down here so you can see. So we got this jet right here and 
like all jets and Arctic spas, they screw in. They screw in because a lot of these jets rely on little tabs and over the years we learned that you know the water chemistry affects the uh, plastic of the jet barrel and those clips break and you end up with jets in your spa. So we, uh, you know, several years ago, maybe a decade ago now, we patented this system because this is, allows us not only to screw it in but you can still control the flow of the j each individual jet. So this jet you can see, you can get a lot of water coming out the end here. It's a much larger jet. We can actually use one of the diverter valves. We can use one of these diverter valves and by turning this valve, we can change the flow from one of the seats directly to this jet. So you have the full force of one pump coming out of this jet. And this jet's powerful enough that it can literally shoot the water right out of the spa. So if you want a foot jet that's really, really gonna give you a great massage, you put your feet on that, it's fantastic. But here's the other nice thing. When this jet is in here, I can actually massage the front of my body. You know, I can massage my knee. You know, spas do a pretty good job of massaging the back of our body, but what about the chest? Well, this will even reach the chest. I can change the direction of this, shoot this right up, get my shoulder, get the front of my body. It's really a great jet. If I'm in the water, I can get my back, right? I can get my hips, I can move around and allow this big force of water to um, massage any part of my body, which I, I absolutely love this. I sit in the footwell of my spa and get massaged. I actually have a swim spa and we have, you know, we use this jet as the swim jets, right? So you, you know, for each pump, there'll be two of these. You could have up to th uh, six of these in a swim spa, all flowing out. You can use those as a stand-up area to get massage as well, not just to swim again, so you can use it for massage. Now here's the exciting thing. I'm now gonna take you over to the spa with the SDS seat, which is not this one. It's the one over here. This same size jet we've now made into a pulsating jet, right? So this pulsating jet will actually uh, use the full force of the pump in a pulsating jet. So that's the deepest uh, therapy you can get. Deep massage therapy on a uh, SDS seat. Six of these in one seat. It's absolutely amazing. But again, I could actually take that insert and put it in here and have a massaging jet down here, a pulsating massaging jet down there, right? Um, I did want to show you on the Arctic that our standard jet, our standard jet on an Arctic, which is why the jet counts on Arctic is often less. Our standard jet is a five inch jet, a high flow five inch pulsating jet. Every single jet in the Arctic are pulsating jets, except for the Whirlpool jet, which could be a pulsating jet if you add the SDS jet into there. That's a big difference because it takes more flow to create a spinning jet because you need the power to spin it. But the other thing is, is that you can see that the, the, because when this is spinning, the area that it covers, when it hits your back, instead of a straight jet that will just hit, a, you know, like a cone come out and hit a certain area of your back, this will cover a much larger surface area. So if you have four, like in this seat, there's four of these ones and there's six of the three inch jets, you're, each one of those has a radius that's covering, so your entire back, even if you're a big guy and you get a big back, it's gonna cover the whole area and really massage your body well. It also gives it a, a break, you know? If I keep poking you in the same spot, that'll start to irritate you, but if I go thump, 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 it's actually spreading that massage out. Just like when you, we're, we're really trying to mimic the movements of a masseuse. Right? That's what we're trying to do with these jets. Each one of these is like your own private masseuse. Right? So spinning jets is a lot better. And you can see all of these are designed just to screw in. They hit a point where it's resistant and then it's going to pop over there. And now this is like a valve. I can turn it all the way on or all the way off. And that changes the flow coming out this jet. So I can have it on 10%, 20%, 30%, all the way on, all the way off. Right? Every single jet in the Arctic Spa allows you to do that, right? And that makes a big difference. So now let's go take a look at the SDS seat. So if you take a look here, you can see the SDS seat is that same, let me just, there we go. Unscrew it. Okay, 
So this was that same size jet as that orca jet that you saw in the bottom there. That was the big um, open orifice jet, high flow jet. Um, and there's one of those in this spa as well, which I could show you. But you can see this is the spinning version. So this pulsates. And we have six of these gigantic pulsating jets in this one seat. So I'll put it back in. But you can see when you look at the, the opening here, how much water can come into this and actually come out the other end. That's really important because again, it's that water flow that gives you the impact that's really going to make the massage great. Let's put that back in. It just screws in. There. Now we're open. Now let's see. We hit the SDS seat. There we go. So when someone's in there, so I'm turning these down just so that they don't soak me as I put my hands, but you can see, I don't know if you can see my arm shaking around there, but yeah, there's this it's kind of fluttering in there like this, this big gigantic flow of water. And you got six of these big jets all down your back. There is no better massage than sitting in an SDS seat, I'm telling you. It's the best massage you can get in any spa. And you know, just this year, we used to only be able to get the SDS seat on a four pump spa or a three pump spa. The top of the line seven foot spa or the top of the line eight foot spa. Well now what the factory has done is they've made this an optional seat. So you could order a uh, Prestige with SDS now you have a two pump spa, but one of those pumps is dedicated to this SDS seat, which I think is fantastic. Two pumps, one of them is a really deep, deep, deep therapy massage. And so that is a little bit of education on jetting. Um, one other last point that I'd like to give is, you see some of these jets have like a, a stainless steel escutcheon um, on there. Some of them don't. Um, because we use saltwater spas um, and we use chemicals in spas, most chemicals and if your salt level was too high, you could possibly uh, have some of these uh, stainless steel jets corrode over time, um, especially with chemicals because a lot of the chemicals that we use in the spa, like your pH decreaser, all of the sanitizers that you use like chlorines and bromines, they're quite corrosive. And if you get the wrong mix of that stuff in there, you can corrode. You know, I, I joke with people, stainless just means it stains less. It's not stain free. So, you know, I've been working with manufacturers. We've used titanium coated escutcheons, but those become quite expensive. And the truth is, is that the stainless steel on the spas really just looks great on empty spas. When you're sitting in front of this, no one ever goes, hey, I'm glad I got stainless steel. Um, but it does look nice on empty spas, but it's kind of like a fishing lure, you know, to attract fish. That's how we attract customers is with these shiny things. But I really think because of water being the universal solvent and the chemicals and stuff that people use in spas or uh, the oxidizers that are used in spas, um, you know, you don't necessarily have to have stainless. So you'll see we have a non-stainless option and they're starting to get some really fancy looking jets that don't require a metal in the water, which I think is an improvement. But I thought I'd add that at the end there. So remember, better jets are better. Bigger jets with higher flow are going to give you more impact. Smaller jets with less flow are going to be a softer type of massage. Depending on the type of person you are, having the ability to control the flow of the jets is going to allow you to tailor the massage directly to your needs. Some people like it really powerful, some people like a soft massage. A rotating jet versus a straight flow jet, completely different massage. Find out which you prefer by testing in an actual spa. Thank you for your time. I'm John Kierstead from Arctic Spas Vancouver Island. I hope you've enjoyed this video.